I'd like to make some remarks here about how we can determine whether or not the graph of a quadratic function will open up or whether it'll open down. And we know a function or this parabola will open up or down depending on what a is. a is the important part of the function that determines whether it opens up or down. It will open up. So your parabola will open up when a is greater than 0. When a is greater than 0, your parabola will open up. And you can see here when it opens up, then our vertex will be a minimum. The vertex is the minimum of the function. This is important because if we had a business and we wanted to minimize costs, or if we had a, um, a power plant and we need to minimize pollution, whatever it is, mi minimum and um, being able to minimize something or maximize something is very important. And now we don't have to graph the whole function to determine whether, you know, what that minimum is. We can just look to say, okay, well, it's a quadratic function. I know it opens up because a is greater than zero. And so if a is greater than zero, if I can just solve for the vertex, I know that's the minimum. You might be able to guess now that if the function opens down, we know something else about it. So if the function opens down like that, then we know for a fact that a had to have been less than zero. So when a is less than zero, the parabola is going to open down, always. And we can see here that the vertex is at the very top of that parabola. So the vertex will be a maximum. And we might be able to maximize profits or determine the maximum size of a garden with certain you know, restrictions and how much you can spend on fencing or whatever it is. We can now get a function. We can determine that it opens down, so its vertex will be a maximum. So in this chapter, you'll be asked to determine you know, it does this function or is it going to have a minimum or a maximum, and then you'll have to find it. You know it will have a maximum, or excuse me, a minimum, it will have a minimum if a is greater than zero. And it will be a minimum because if a is greater than zero, then your parabola will open up. You know that it will have a maximum if a is less than zero, because if it's less than zero, your parabola will open down, so your vertex will be a maximum. Then it will be up to us to use the properties to solve for that vertex.